Good morning. First of all, I want you to let go of whatever it is that you brought with you here today that is no longer serving you. Whatever you're bringing with you from yesterday, from the past week, whatever memory is haunting you, whatever emotion is bringing you down, let it go. We're going to fill ourselves up with so much positivity, so much happiness that any negative emotion in your body is going to be flushed out completely. Remember that how you start your day is how your day is going to play out. So let's own our mornings. Get up in the morning and present yourself with two choices. Is today going to be good or is it going to be amazing? There are no other choices. You can start slow with a smile. The first thing I do when I wake up is smile. I never forget to smile and when I accidentally do, I feel the effect of that on my day. Empowering yourself in the first moment you wake up is going to change your life. I want you to program yourself to as soon as you open your eyes, plaster a big smile on your face. If you didn't wake up smiling, smile right now. Today is a new blank page. It is not affected by your past. You are renewed each morning. When you went to sleep for however long, your cells turned over, your spirit rested, and you are now refreshed. Now, the first thing that's going to come out of your mouth today and every morning from now on is, today is going to be great. Today is going to be full of opportunity. Today is going to be full of love. Today is going to be full of happiness. Today is going to be full of laughs. However much time you have in the morning, you have enough time to right now list a few things in your head or out loud that you are grateful for. I'm grateful for my health, for my family. I'm grateful for the weather. I'm grateful for this beautiful bottle of water waiting for me on my nightstand. I'm grateful for books. I'm grateful for my friends. What are you grateful for? Say it now. Show how thankful you are for all your blessings. Now we're going to say thank you to everything that is already ours, but we just don't know it yet. Thank you for the opportunities. Thank you for the blessings. Thank you for the love, the laughter, the happiness. Thank you for the beautiful memories. Thank you for bringing love into my life. Just be thankful for everything you desire because it is already yours. So be thankful for it. You see, we often forget that we are the actual creators of our entire universe, our entire world. What we think affects how we feel and how we feel affects how we act. And all three of these things are projected out in front of us and create the fiber of our existence. People think that the creator, the higher intelligence, God, whatever you want to call it, people believe that the creator made humans as the perfect creation. That's not true. We are far from perfect, at least in the conventional sense. Rather, the creator made the perfect creator. We are perfect creators, able to plan and create an entire life. Today, something could change that entire life. So be present, be aware, be mindful, let go of being realistic. Believe that something different can happen. Believe that miracles can happen. Believe in magic. Notice what is happening around you, who you are interacting with, because every moment counts. No one knows for sure which moment is the one that changes everything. So focus on every single second. Today, I want you to focus on your I am's. What kind of I am's are coming out of your mouth? Focus on them. See if you like those I am's, because the truth is everything you put in front of your I am literally becomes who you are. How about having the courage to say, I am beautiful, I am powerful, I am intelligent, I am creative, I am blessed, I am healthy, I am in control. Now let's talk road bumps. You can overcome and solve any problem or issue that you face today. Anything that arises 
is there for you to learn from. So be grateful for these issues. Be grateful for them. When you encounter any problem today, any small annoyance, first and foremost, before any other reaction, I want you to say thank you. Thank you for testing me, universe. Thank you for allowing me to prove to myself and to the world that I have changed, that I am changing. Thank you for letting me prove that I can handle this wisely, rationally, reasonably, with creativity and with hope. Thank you for letting me prove to myself and to everyone else that I just need to take a deep breath and I can handle anything, turn anything bad that may happen to you today into a powerful lesson. That way, there are no losses, only wins and only lessons. Remember that at any point in the day, you can change the way you think and the way you feel by changing your perspective. Don't hide away pouting because it's easier to be unhappy and upset. Change your circumstances. Stop being a victim. Be the hero of your own story. If you work out, you know how hard it can be to make it up a hill, to run up a hill. But how good does it feel at the top when the wind is blowing and you're looking down and you see everything you've accomplished, the difficult hill that you've climbed? How great and successful do you feel? I want you to tackle everything in your life that way. Manage your energy, not just your time. Do not spend your energy today on people who do not fulfill you. Every relationship is a give and take of energy. So if you feel exhausted after being with someone, they are taking more than they are giving. Stay away from them so that you can replenish yourself. Put yourself first for once. Remember that you are first and foremost a vibrational being. You are creating at every moment. Every thought, action, and emotion is vibrating energy that is reflected back in your life. If you want people to think you're beautiful, you must think you're beautiful. You must feel beautiful. You must become beauty. If you want people to think you're successful, you must feel successful. You must become success. You must feel the way you want the world to see you as. And all it really takes is to decide that you already are this thing. You get a new chance every single day to do better and be better. So I challenge you today to be very present during all the moments when you're doing something frustrating. I remember I used to sit in traffic, on edge, upset, anxious. Then I realized I was shortening my life and wasting my life. Now I listen to loud music and I sing my lungs out. I listen to podcasts and I learn. I talk on the phone with my grandma. I now cherish my time in traffic. Believe it or not, you can change any annoyance in your life into a blessing. All it takes is a shift in perspective. Remember that you have no limits. Any limits you think you may have have been imposed on you by people who have no right and no real power to tell you what you can and cannot do. You are good enough. You are strong enough. You are resourceful enough. All you need to do is to focus on being happy and feeling good and everything else in your life will perfectly align. I am victorious. I am talented. I am blessed. I am a masterpiece. What is your mantra today? Take yourself to the next level. Change your I am's. Decide who you're going to be and then just do it. All it takes is the decision and the intention and then quieting your mind, letting go of the doubts and letting go of the fears. Don't let those thoughts get in the way of your greatness. The first step before you make anyone else believe it is to believe it yourself. You have to believe it. You have to only have a plan A. We don't have plan Bs because we don't give up. We don't give up. We just make it happen. Have respect for yourself today. You are an eternal being who has traveled several lifetimes in several universes. You have seen and experienced so much and you deserve reverence. You deserve confidence. You deserve to raise your head high and to walk through life knowing that you are meant to be here. You have a purpose here. If you are here, you have a reason to be. The more you practice doing all this, the more open you will become, open-minded, open-hearted, and the more you will become the embodiment of love. The closer you get to becoming the embodiment of love, the more life will open itself up to you. The universe will curl up at your feet. 
everything you want will run into your arms, eager to be yours. Have an amazing day.